Is there anything in particular with regard to the current market conditions that you see and you would be giving advice to other founders who are looking to raise at this particular time? Um, I think go and read everything Paul Graham has written. Firstly, is like the first bit of advice I would give any founder. So Paul Graham's the founder of Y Combinator. Um, I think the main mistake startups do is they start fundraising before actually thinking, are we building something people actually want? Can this business be big? Am I doing this for the right reasons, right? Am I doing this because I believe in the problem or am I doing it because my friends are doing it? I think it'd be cool to be a founder or cool to own a startup or whatever, right? Like, um, your what? So firstly, your why needs to come from a place of like, um, uh, you really, I think it's, I think it's better. I, I don't buy too much that thing of like, you have to be passionate about what you're doing, right? You can be passionate about the process. And, uh, like there's a quote from like Rockefeller or someone where he's like, I don't love money. I, I love the making of it. Um, which is like, you know, he enjoys the process of, 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 of making the money. But um, you need to enjoy that and, and get energy out of it. Otherwise, you, you're going to burn out when things are, are difficult, right? They're not going your way. Um, and so I think, you know, always start with why. And then um, the what, you need to really ask yourself, okay, do people really want this? Is there pull? Like, even at pre-seed, you need like really strong evidence that people are willing to pay for what you're selling, right? Like before we raise, especially if you don't have much track record, which, you know, we didn't when we raised our pre-seed. So we already had a paying customer before we, and that paying customer had already said, I will invest in this business if you build it. So we had very strong signal that, and that was mainly a market problem, right? It wasn't because it might have been because they also thought, you know, Mary and I were compelling founders, but, you know, you need both right but like um i really think people underestimate like you just need to demonstrate clear market need and demonstrate people are willing to pay for for what what you're selling and then the third thing is once you can demonstrate willingness to pay it's like are you growing so if you read one piece by paul graham there's one that's called startup equals growth that's the the name of the the blog post and he's like look basically the only thing that matters in startup is how fast are you growing because that's the that's the only difference between running a startup and running like any SME, like a consulting business or something like that. You start a good startup when it's very early on, will be growing like 7%, um, 7 a week, I think is, is, is the stat. So, you know, monthly because of compounding, I think that's about 35, 30, 35%, um, which is pretty fast, right? Like, uh, that means if you do 1k one month, you're doing 1300 quid the next month and within a couple of months, you'd be doing you know, tens of thousands of pounds. Um, so you need to figure out what metrics are important um, and then show that you're growing meaningfully in those metrics, which it, which means you're showing market pull, right? So rather than you like pushing your product out into the market, there's, there's real demand. And that's a really early indicator of product market fit. And I would say don't bother fundraising until you've thought about those three things, right? So like, um, you know, uh, why am I doing this? Um, have I got someone who's willing to pay for it? And <clears throat> am I growing fast? If you can, if you can solve those three things, fundraising is going to be easy. Um, then you can start thinking about storytelling and blah, blah, blah. But like all of that stuff, pointless. If you can't like just show that you have something that can be a big business.